Welcome to the News Hour. We're starting tonight with two major stories. First, a tornado has plowed into Little Rock, Arkansas, and nearby towns, with reports of heavy damage and many people injured. Amateur video captured the huge funnel cloud on the horizon, and driving straight line winds whipped trees and sent sheets of rain into the city. The storm flipped cars, tore away rooftops, and knocked out power to thousands. Emergency crews rushed out to search for victims and perform rescue operations. It was all part of a massive storm front that affected at least 15 states from the Great Lakes to the Deep South. Joining us now by phone is Bill Bunting. He's operations chief for the NOAA Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Bill Bunting, welcome and thanks for joining us. What can you tell us about the strength and the scale of this storm that just hit Little Rock? Well, at the moment, the uh, information that we have, as you noted, suggests uh, that a very strong tornado touched down across portions of the Little Rock Metro. Uh, we've received reports of a number of injuries, uh, damage to neighborhoods, overturned vehicles, widespread power outages. Uh, those details will become clearer as the evening progresses, but it's unfortunately all part of a very large weather system that extends from eastern Iowa down into eastern Texas and that will continue racing east overnight over a large part of the Ohio Valley. So we know some 28 million people are under tornado watches this afternoon. Where is it headed next? What should they be bracing for? Well, the storms right now are moving towards the Mississippi River Valley area. We've also got a separate area of storms approaching Chicago. And at the moment, a tornado emergency is in effect northwest of Memphis. So uh, the storms remain quite dangerous. Uh, reports of very large hail, baseball size, destructive straight line winds, perhaps an excessive hurricane force and the continued threat of tornadoes moving east overnight as far east as Columbus, Ohio, through Nashville, even in the northwest to Alabama. So a large area affected and unfortunately a, a really active start, early start to our severe weather season. And Bill, briefly, if you can, for the places that have already been hit, is the worst behind them? In the areas hardest hit, uh, likely yes. There are a few storms to the west, and that could hamper rescue and recovery operations. But uh, the, the most significant threat for tornadoes, certainly in Little Rock, has shifted south and east. Uh, but folks will have to be uh, watching out for lightning, perhaps even some hail over the next few hours. That is Bill Bunting joining us on the phone tonight, the operations chief for the NOAA Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Bill, thank you for joining us. Thank you.